Hi, thank you. If I drop that on the stage, it's because I have this horrible flu. But I'm brave. I'm here, aren't I? And very soon I'll be at the National Theatre making 600 children happy in a children's play. So humor and happiness are that serious matter. Everybody wants to experience happiness in their lives. And everybody wants their loved ones to be happy. If you ask parents, what do you want for your children? Very few would say money. <laughs> Wealth and fame, I wish them to be filthy rich and have mansions. <laughs> no. Majority of people wish their children to experience happiness. I want happiness for my children. So, what is happiness? Is it excitement and fun and joy? Is it uh, an extraordinary experience? Or is it living a serene and balanced life? What actually is happiness? The happiest people in the world, they define their happiness as having a good relationships and living a meaningful life, having purpose in their life. And apparently these two things, they create balance and wellness. So are we born happy or is it a learned behavior? Actually, we are born with the ability to experience happiness. It's in our genes. Positivity is written in our DNA, actually, partly. But partly you can thank or blame your upbringing and environment. It's really a part of your personal trait whether you tend to see the glass half full or half empty. But the good news is your genes are not your destiny. You can really work on increasing your happiness. So, fill up your glass. Or, like the saying here, if you see your glass as half empty, pour it into a smaller glass and stop bitching. <laughs> you know, I collect this trivia in my what I call my bank of joy. Bank of joy, which is a little bit too personal to share at this moment. <laughs> Maybe later. So, why do we want everybody to be happy? There's more to life than happiness. So, how do we explain it? Why would we try to increase our happiness all the time? The, the simple answer is neuroscience. Actually, the more happiness you experience, the more happy hormones you produce. Endorphin, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, those are happy hormones. And what happens if your body produces a lot of happy hormones? You are less stressed, you're more creative, you're more positive, you're more energy and better health. Actually, the more happy hormones you produce, the more you boost your immune system. So, boost your happy hormones. How do we do that? This, again, this is my bank. This is my bank to boost my happy hormones. And the easiest way I've written down, you can sing, you can dance, laugh, create art, meditate, hug, love, be grateful, eat chocolate, have sex. <laughs> Not all at the same time. <laughs> and there's one exercise I'd like to share with you. Uh, it's 
practicing gratitude. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it really works. When you wake up in the morning, just say out loud, thank you. Thank you for something, for everything. I urge you to try it. It might actually change your life. So, my favorite tool to increase my happiness is humor. Humor is such an excellent communication tool. Humor can be bonding and, and uh, warm and positive, but humor can also be destructive and toxic. So let's be careful how we use our humor. If we want to make people laugh by telling them jokes or funny stories, which is great, you still have to be careful because it's rather tricky. People might not find you funny. <laughs> they might not laugh, so then you won't, and that hurts. Believe me, I'm a comedian, I know. <laughs> but to me, humor is the best tool to survive life. It's actually my survival kit. I use my bank of joy every day, especially when my life is a mess, which is every other day. <laughs> but I try to find the funny things in every situation. Look for the humorous things in difficult situations. It's amazingly healing. And there's this very powerful exercise that I want to share with you on how to use humor. Find three funny things in your day, every day, and write them down. Three funny things every day for three weeks, and I'm certain that you will experience a positive change in your life. If not, sue me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my bank of joy, which I want to share with you now, I'm ready. I collect funny stories, video clips, funny pictures. I recall all my embarrassing incidents, which are quite many, I tell you. And also I recall all the uh, uncontrollable laughter fits that I've had. It is a really wonderful tool, and I just keep it in my phone, you know. And you have to create your own pack of joy. It is very useful. So, the last thing I want to share with you are the silly pictures I keep in my phone, you know, just to make myself happy. I mean, not all of you might find funny, you know, the after it with the false teeth or a monkey sticking out its tongue or two chubby man interests. But I, I actually, I show these uh, pictures to my family and two had fits of laughter, seven years old and nine years old. <laughs> so that's my humor. But I just, I collect from the internet. So do what you like. Create your own bank of joy. And these are the pictures in my iPhone I found on Facebook. You know, beep beep, I'm a mister, go home, Pessy, you try. <laughs> or, Jimmy, answer me, please. That's <laughs> sad as well. And then, what the f is this? Porn? Get dressed, you idiot. So, the last thing I want to say to you is thank you very much and be happy! <laughs>